Watch his health bar just deplete. I mean, holy crap, dude. What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are kind of continuing our beginner series, but I wanted to take a sidestep and just do an overview of the Sorceress and just kind of my reactions to the class because this is the class that I'm picking to play based on all the information that we have. Um, since there's no type, like, I mean, I don't want to play Ranger because Ranger would be more like my Demon Hunter type. Um, that that's kind of my play style, but Sorceress has always been dear, and I played Sork the, probably the most on Diablo 4. So Sorceress just looks absolutely insane with some of the clips that we've seen, considering the ball lightning that I really want to play. So we're going to take a brief overview of it. Uh, I'm going to go into some detail with some of the skills and stuff like that. And I have a special clip at the end from another creator, which just showcases the absolute power, the sheer Power. I'm talking about Gandalf level, the Gandalf the White level power. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into this, guys. Make sure to watch to the end. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the Sorceress. So the Sorceress is your primary spellcaster here. We're going to kind of go over and check out some of this stuff from Jonathan Majors. So we're going to kind of talk about this a little bit. If you guys haven't seen this stuff, then you'll be seeing it for the first time. But they really talk about a lot of really good things here and just showcase how awesome the sorceress is and then we're going to get into some of the skills and stuff like that um we will talk about the ascendancies and which one that i'm going to play um right after this so yeah just stick around guys uh, elemental spellcaster um she's going to attack sorceress just range. looks um, so range. good now i will say that they did mention about something about that the some creators who got to go early and play test talked about possibly that the sork wasn't that good for leveling and, and it felt a little tough for the sorceress but i i doubt it man i think i think everybody's gonna have a really good time and i think sorceress is gonna be just good uh leveling low survivability so yeah um, let's check this out here is an act three called the forge um this is an area like an ancient uh val forge where they were making uh, so it's various, act three uh, you know forging various gold things and we kind of get to see the, the the strength of the uh the sorceress here so she's um, using a combination of lightning and fire here. Um, once again, there's lots of interesting combos that um, we want to do, but one of the things that I'd really like to kind of show you um, to get a taste for one of the other character development areas we have in PoE2 is uh, support gems. So support gems are um, in PoE2. You so we, we talked about this in another video when it comes to support gems, um, to get a taste and for one of the other character development areas we you really get to see kind is, of uh, uh, how support gems so and the leveling of these things are, actually uh, work. So you can see that there's the tiers here. These each of these we talked about in our gem video. Um, once you find these uncut gems, um, <clears throat> you can see that this is a level three. It creates a support gem up to level three. So you're going to end up finding higher level uncut support gems for this. So the higher that you get, you can either make a gem a higher level or level up a current gem. In PoE two, you get them by finding an uncut support. And when you open this by default, what you're going to see is um, just a few rec like all the abilities look so good on the sorceress like especially visually go through the different skills that you have on the left uh there's different recommended skill gems for each um uh, i do love the recommended skill gems especially for new players i think that's so good uh, for each skill that you have um so what we're trying to do is just uh, make sure that for new players it's very easy for them like look look, look at like the stuff they're like hey use these three this these are what's recommended you don't have to use these but here's is what recommended to kind of get you like jump started into the skill. To pick something that's just going to work. I think it's so case, good. What we might do for Spark is pick Pierce. Um, the reason why that's good is because Spark is a skill that creates a lot of projectiles that uh, run around the ground and then bounce off walls. Ooh. Um, if we're able to pierce through. Yeah. See how it just kind of bounces around, around dude. Hit a monster again. Um, so that can make it a lot more powerful when you are filling up. That looks some, like uh, some Palpatine, li you know, lightning. Can I make um, it purple? We're gonna try and relight up the forge here. Uh, can we make to, it uh, purple? To the boss. G G G. So, uh, that's what uh, Octavian's doing here. Let me make it purple so, so I can be Palpatine. That we might want to. Um, uh, pick is uh, multiple projectiles for one of our skills. Woo! So, for example, we've got fireball. Um, if you fire it without uh, multiple projectiles, yeah, yeah, multiple projectiles you, uh, makes <clears> you get blows, one and then you get uh, three. Throw multiple projectiles on there, and uh, you know, obviously, it does what you might expect. You get multiple fireballs. Engrave, bam. So, um, Woo! Woo! You can actually move these skills. Boy, that looks good. Around between skills. For example, we took the multiple projectiles, and instead we put it on. Um, I don't know this ice. I think you've got a nice skill somewhere. Uh, Frostbolt. Yeah, uh, Frostbolt. To, um, there you go. Make that into multiple projectiles instead. So um, effectively, this Ugh, is, uh, like, you know, uh, Fireball uh, looks better. Character progression that you God, that use, moves slow. Uh, in order to um, improve the characters <clears throat> in POE. But it looks so, so uh, good, one, man. I think there was another one as well, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, Firewall. Let's try Firewall. So Firewall is a skill that um, allows you to um, create a wall of fire. If you fire projectiles through that, 
um, it's going to add fire to the lightning projectiles that we fire through. Um, so that is um, quite a nice uh, little, little combo there as well. But if we want, um, there's another skill, a support gem I think is quite interesting called Fortress. If you throw that on any skill that creates Fortress. a wall, um, was that the one? Yep. Then uh, when you cast it, it's going to make a... Uh, oh, that, that is just so cool to like trap an enemy. Around you or around the monster. Um, so that means you can cast that and then fire in all directions afterwards. So, That's um, so you know, cool. Add, add a little bit of power. Uh, it might be a little bit easier in this area as well when you've got uh, tight quarters. Sorceress just looks so good. So now like, like let's take a look at the, um, the ascendancy for... Does this look... For the sorceress, because I know that they're in here. So we'll get to see a little bit of this. So you can see that the sorceress just has all kinds of crazy abilities. I mean, just look at it. Visually, the, the class looks amazing, right? So now, now they're going into monk. But um, let's go over to the ascension. And I want to talk about, so this is the main one that I'm going to be using, which is Cryromancer. This is going to be the time stop kind of. Um, sorceress. So let's listen in so you guys can see what they're talking about. Ascendancy classes are unique to each character class, so choose wisely. Now we do only get to pick from two as opposed to three in early access, but we will get a third one eventually. They can drastically affect how you build your character. As a sorceress, you could become a storm weaver. I a will say, young. I will say that a storm weaver looks pretty insane. Like all the different powers to master all the different elements i think is really unique and i do like that it's all combined into one as opposed to like individually going to into each element which seemed like is very difficult tempest caller causes elemental storms to be summoned each time you do a critical i like those storms that just pop up that's super cool with strike twice you can stack two copies of shock for more damage and going deeper into the tree you can make all your damage types apply shock make a shock build from any skill that's so cool this one right here is is the one I'm looking forward to, guys. Definitively, you Cryo could become a chronomancer or chronomancer. Time itself. She literally has the look at this. To stop time with time freeze. Oh my no. God! How cool does that look? Not only that, but she has many other time manipulation abilities. Using temporal rift, she can teleport back to a previous location, resetting her life and mana back to what it was. Or with time snap, she can reset all her cooldowns and cast all her spells again. Woo! On the God, wall. that looks so good, guys. Temporal Rift, it, it looks it looks so good. The Chronomancer just looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait to play this class. Like this setup just looks so good. Now I do want to tell you that, and then and then and then like a meteor on top of it. So this time freeze also does not. Um, affect your enemy or excuse me your teammate as well as like their minions so if you have a witch on your team or something like that and they have a bunch of minions this is only going to affect the enemy so this isn't going to affect your teammates and your party nothing like that from what i understand which is really cool but time freeze oh my god it's like having legion uh you know on a stick in a way like oh let me hit click legion and just freeze everything and then i get to destroy you and see the cooldown on it is actually still relatively fast too man that is so cool so so cool okay so let's get into i want to give a big shout out here to my man subtract him um big content creator here big shout out to him we want to talk about this end game he has a really in-depth video here about the sorceress as well as the mercenary so be sure to check that out link down in the description but i want to show you this boss fight that he has i think this is in uh act two i think this is in act two for uh the devourer and he talks about having like a, an insanely strong staff, or maybe he just rolled a good staff. But I want to show you guys the pure strength of this sorceress. And then I want to show you a, a skill that I'm really excited about, which I, I got on my Twitter. I'll pull that up or X. But I want to show you real quick the, the pure strength of this class because this is act two. He got an early staff. And I just just watch and look how strong this is. Like Watch the watch the boss's health bar. I need more time. Not yet. I mean, holy crap, dude. Look at the health bar drop. Look at the health bar drop. This is act two. This is act two. Let me go back. Let me go back. On Sork. See, he um, talks about having a good staff here. Too much because I didn't have this crazy gear 
when I was doing the previous playtest. But I, mean, I can tell you, if you get good gear, uh, at least on a Sork, if you get a good staff, things will feel really good. So he talks about having good gear on certain classes, especially the Sorceress. Now, again, getting good gear, and that's where like the big changes of being able to kind of craft your gear along the way, like adding modifiers and crafting things up if you find something good is so important because you're not relying on just a random drop. You can actually make your character strong, and this is only Act 2. So, so yeah, this is uh, just watch Look his, at this fight, man. I mean, holy crap, especially when he freezes him. Like, the damage is already good when the Devourer is not frozen in place. Like, look at that damage. But then when he gets frozen, watch his health bar just deplete. I mean, holy crap, dude. It's so nuts. The Sorcerer is going to be so strong. I think people are really underestimating this class. I mean, holy crap. All right, real quick, let me, let me, go, let me go to the X real quick. And I want to show you guys the uh, the 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 power, uh, or the, at least the skill that I'm really looking forward to, and that's this one right here. It's gonna be a little blurry because it's posted on on X, but this is Ball Lightning, and I am jacked. Look, look at this! Look how cool this looks. I mean, and that's and this is just with Archmage and Wild Shards, and it, it just. I mean, supported skills have a 20% chance to fire, you know, more, and then Sigil of Power. Like this is the staff that it, that it's on, level twenty sigil of power, crit spell damage, maximum mana. Like look at that, dude! You just destroy. But I mean that boss fight though at the end. Like even this is pretty good. It's not as good as that boss fight, but I mean holy crap, guys! I mean this is just it's it's nuts, man. Absolutely insane. So. Yeah, guys, I wanted to do just a brief overview and take a like a first glance into the Cryromancer, or excuse me, the the uh, Sorceress, and just talk about a lot of the abilities that it's going to have. I mean, you got a wide range. I think Frost is going to be super strong. Fire is going to be super strong. There's a lot of really cool things. And again, this is just a baseline video. We're not going to go too in-depth on every single skill, etc. Just kind of brief overview. But you got some very powerful skills, and the ceiling for the Sorceress just looks absolutely insane with that boss fight. I mean, again, I got I got to play it one more time because it's just just life bar. It, it's just kind of insane how strong the class actually is. I mean, that health bar just absolutely depleting. But yeah, guys, just a quick quick overview. This is the class that I'm going to be playing for Path of Exile Two Early Access. So, guys, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the sorceress, and if there's any questions you guys have about the class, I'll be sure to try to answer them. Um, without, you know, revealing too much, I, I would say, because I guess there's not too much information out there that we have on the classes. I mean, little bits and pieces get more revealed every day, but it's still not enough to really put a whole lot together. I mean, again, look at this fight. I mean, holy crap, dude. I just I just need to message sub and just be like, dude, what staff was that? So I can just have it. Um, but yeah, guys, like and comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Sorceress and which class you're playing on early access, guys. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.